Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Wednesday, Day, which means it is time for us to finally get back to another Nas Watches Log Horizon. Holy shit, it's been a minute since we've been here, hasn't it? So, on our last episode of Log Horizon, uh, our boy, Shiro, wound up speaking with this wizard who basically gave him just the, the rundown on how everything works, and now apparently, oh man, death has a consequence. Oh god, oh jeez. It's most likely, and, and I think it's basically established that, like, yeah, no, they lose, they lose their, they lose their memories or experiences or whatever the fuck, however you want to uh, dictate it. Um, which means that, yeah, dying kind of sucks, as it should. I have a cat who really wants to leave. She's not allowed. Um... And, uh, yeah, so it's, and also our boys, our, our little baboos, are trying to, to basically conquer this dungeon, but they're not quite doing it, and the bard and the wizard are gonna wind up fucking, probably. Um, yeah, all around, just a big old family-friendly adventure going on. And also the NPCs want access to boats. Sure hope they don't get them. Because, oh boy, I, I really do not want to imagine these NPCs who don't trust adventurers with a navy. Trust me, as someone who is from a country that conquered most of the world with a good navy... Yeah, no, you don't want to be giving out navies. But let's go ahead and see what's going on, shall we? In three, two, one, and go. Oh yeah, they, and they also they're just fighting the... They're having the real baboos fight the big crabs so they can eat them. What was the point of that stinger, dog? Like... Oh man, another group of adventurers is here! Yay! It's like, yeah, and... You've already got me hanging out... ...with fucking the baby squad. The squad that I very much do not give a fuck about. Like, you're already pushing it by spending time with, the, with those jackasses. Like, don't push it further by adding in another squad of babies for me to not care about. Remember, kids, in this, in this house, we follow the ancient Spartan tradition. Of Yetus the Fetus. Oh boy. Like seriously though. I don't care about the children. I don't. Like. Like they were too fucking shitty. To not get taken in. By a guild literally named after. The fucking Pied Piper of Hamelin. They can't clear. Their first fucking dungeon. Their squad makeup is trash. And like. Two of them have the same fucking personality. Just one wants to fuck Shiro, and the other wants to one wants to fuck the Catman. Like, come on, Chief. They're the same character. They even basically got the same fucking class. Oh, and hey, here's the fish monsters I was talking about. That would be a problem if they got a navy. Yeah. Give the NPCs a navy. They'll be fighting that shit the whole time, and you'll need sea adventurers. What was with the English there? Miss Minori! The fuck? Three hours! I'ma just point out, in Final Fantasy XIV, there is a hard time limit of 80 minutes for most duties. And they're finished before you've got 60 minutes left on the fucking, on the fucking clock. Yeah, she's very humorless and very lame all around, actually. And as, and as in, you know, and in spirit of getting to know each other, everyone must now take off their pants.
How is that relevant to doing a dungeon? None of this is relevant. Just tank harder and DPS harder. Like, this is, this is 100% words said by someone who has never played a fucking video game in their life. Uber Lover. Fucking Christ. Because it's the optimal spell for his rotation. Dumbass. Why does anyone use any spell? I mean, of course, he's not using an optimal rotation. He's just using it because it has the biggest number time. TWO SECONDS?! TWO SECONDS! That's a- are you- That's fucking trash, dog. Your average fucking cast time should be .97 at most! Fuck me! Engaging from range is dumb. Like... Like, the, his correct answer to that would be, so I need to get, I need to get in melee range before you start throwing spells, dipshit. They're only just figuring out. They're only just figuring out fucking aggro. And already the fucking DPS is going, No, tanks adjust! She's got an ability to lower aggro. She hasn't been using it. <laughs> this right here. This shit right here. This is why I hate this fucking party. Can we please get back to the people that know how to fucking play video games? They just... <laughs> fucking Rundell needs to figure out a better rotation as well. A fucking two second cast time. With an 18 second fucking cooldown. Fucking, what the fuck are you doing for that 18 seconds? Sitting with your thumb up your asshole? Jesus. So, let the tank attack first, get aggro, light him up, and use the fucking DPS aggro reduction skill. You don't need to know all their skills, you just need to know yours. 
Fuck you, these people won't make, won't make me want to kill myself. This is like day one. This is day one fucking shit, chief. There's not a single goddamn MMO that doesn't have a fucking tutorial explaining this shit. No, you just need him to hold aggro. And for your DPS to watch their aggro. Also, your healer is DPSing. This man... That man's had a CC this whole time. This man has had a CC this whole time, and he didn't think to use it on the archer. Like, this actually makes me want to die. <laughs> Fucking Mamoru, your fucking Nakam was told you, you sack of shit. Ugh. Like, I know this sounds, like, elitist as fuck, but those of you that have played fucking MMOs, you, you and I both know there is zero fucking excuse to not know the basics of group dynamics. Because it's the same in every game, to the point where it's a thing in normal single-player RPGs. This isn't just an MMO thing. Any party-based game has this. Fuck me! And if they do, you have the fucking debuff from the... You've got the diva from the fucking bard to stop your aggro rising, chief. Wow, he just fucking shattered them. Congratulations, you killed the first trash mob. Hasn't it been a fucking week? And this is the first time they've cleared the goddamn first trash mobs? There better be a boss that jumps down, or I'm gonna be real fucking disappointed in whoever wrote this. A dungeon that consists of a single fucking trash mob. That, with basic party composition, can be defeated with, like, two spells. How is he making this ink? Aw, oh, you guys made me ink. <laughs> Which means the scribes are probably rolling in fucking money when they win this game was a game. Like, you want to complete this, uh, this quest for this legendary piece of armor? Yeah, not, nah, chief. 
That would be 500,000 gold! Man, I'd rather not dance, just leave him to it. Not gonna lie, I'm not a giant fan of these uniforms they got on. I don't know. Seems... I, I think I liked it more when they were wearing, like, their adventurer kind of get-ups, get you know? Ow. Yeah, you lose your memories. I mean... You're not going back, you are physically in another world. Like, you ain't going back, so you might as well just forget about it, Chief. I mean, you're functionally immortal, so I mean, I think you're good. You beat a single trash mob. You beat a single fucking trash mob, chief. I like how she's got a fucking cat doll that's basically just Nianta but fucking chibi form. It's kite. It's kiting, actually. Pulling is the is the act of actually taunting them. Kiting is when you run them around. It's weird. It took them a fucking month to do it, though. Fucking bards, Chief. She's just... She's gonna get in there, she's gonna just be like, I ROLL TO SEDUCE THE DRAGON! Oh, Your boy getting shit on. He's a sorcerer and he sucks dick. God, this entire episode is just gonna be the fucking shitters, isn't it? We've only got like seven minutes left. But this is, even this is feeling like an end here, Chief. Feel like we're gonna like, just gonna be like, oh no, remaining like six minutes is Fishman. And even then, there'll be like two minutes of credits. We still doing this thing of Krusty and the Princess, huh? Are they just gonna fuck already? Come on now. Like, stop beating around the bush and just fucking raw dog it in the bush already. It's not like I like you or anything, ba 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 baka Yep, it's gonna be more shitters. I hate these kids so much. It's like the main thing about this show I fucking hate.
Like, they're acting like it was a boss. That shit's bosses, and I fucking hate to see the trash mobs. She wants to put her dick in him. Yeah, she wants to put her lady dick in him. Just right up his boy pussy. Ugh. Like, does anyone like these characters? Or, like, is it just me that thinks these people are in, in fucking sufferable? No, oh, maybe they'll defeat two tr trash mobs this time. Oh, oh, you know, maybe not just two trash mobs. Oh, maybe they'll open a treasure chest. I... This is... Like, this is just insufferable. I hate this. Like, is, is it supposed to be funny? Haha, you -ha, see, he's a, he's a big dumb idiot. He's a golden retriever. Like... I hate these kids so much. <laughs> like, I. Mm. Like, they. I was at a point where I was starting to warm up to these kids at one point, and then it's just like. Her friends list is full! He's an NPC. He's an NPC the whole time, huh? That's gonna be it, huh? You can't add an NPC to your friends list. Even the new kids should be okay. Smash cut to the new kids getting their fucking shit kicked in. I didn't know it was Sushi Day. I mean, at least they're fighting back. Except those guys, they're... Oh, now I see why they're CG. I mean, they're getting some hits in, at the very least. I've seen enough hentai know where that was gonna go. Man, look at all them fish butts. Damn, he's gonna fucking sass the guildmaster like that? Damn, alright. Oh boy, alright, okay. So... So not... So not gonna lie, like, I did not like this episode. I think this is the first episode where I can just 100% be like, yeah, no. Fuck this. Like... Like, you got, like, we got, like, a little bit with Shiro, and a little bit with, with Krusty, and all this, and it's just like... 
It's like cool, like okay, just little little bits like re- relating to the rep- the re- big revelation from fucking last episode, but like. I've never been a fan of the of the kids. I hate them so much. Rudy's not great. Isuzu's okay, I guess, but it's mostly because she doesn't have any fucking personality of her own. Or like, or she's got very she's got very little compared to like. I don't know. She's she's made of vanilla. Okay, like, like there's not a single goddamn human being on this planet that hates vanilla. But there's very few who'll be like, oh man, no, straight vanilla, just fucking, oh, do me a line of that, chief. Like, you know what I mean? She's inoffensive, is the thing, right? But, fuck, I don't know why I did like a cocaine thing for vanilla, I don't know. But, oh no, goblins. Oh shit. And the NPCs can't do nothing. But yeah, like... But yeah, like, Isuzu's just... Isuzu's, like, the most inoffensive of them all. But, like... Minori and... I forgot her name already. The shitty one that wants to fuck the cat man. They're the same person. They're the same, like, type of character. They're both healers. They've got the same personality. They don't know how video games. They're trying to learn, and they idolize a mentor figure. Fucking Minori being Shiro, and fucking the other one being... Oh, sorry. Being Mr. Catman. Fucking Toya... Fucking... I don't even fucking know, like, what to say about Toya. Like, Toya's just... He's big, loud... He's a big, loud, dumb idiot who... It seems like he just bounces between being pissed at people and being all happy-go-lucky and friendly, like, like how he is with Rudy. And Rudy, barring the fact that he's probably an NPC... Because who the fuck names their character? Fucking Rundle House, whatever the fuck. Barring the fact he's most likely an NPC. Fucking. Let's see. He's obnoxious. He's loud. He refuses to understand how fucking mechanics work until like it literally comes to the point where it's like, hey, look, we are all gonna fucking die if you don't. Like. The man had a fucking CC the entire time and refused to fucking use it. At least Isuzu has the excuse of they of she leveled up, like, in between dungeon runs to pick up that fucking anti-aggro spell. At least she has the excuse, like, oh yeah, I just learned this. Like, at least she has the excuse. But he's had that this whole time. And he's refused because he wanted to use this spell that has a two-second cast time. When in most MMOs... Uh, your spell with the two second cast time, that's the one you don't cast unless you have a proc. It, which lowers the cast time to instant or near instant. Like a fucking. Like a. It, it's Pyroblast for a Fire Mage in World of Warcraft. That shit has a four second cast time. So you cast Fireball and Scorch until you get Burning Fingers, at which point. Oh, wait, no, sorry, Burning Fingers was what it used to be called. Now it's called Pyroblast with an exclamation point to tell you that, hey, now your Pyroblast is instant cast and will automatically crit. Like... Every... Like, like, seriously, there's not a single fucking spell you're supposed to use in your rotation that has 18 second cooldown and 2 second fucking cast time. Like, fucking basic common sense should dictate that. Like... Not to mention the fact that, like, he's complaining about having all the aggro, despite the fact that the tank, like, is like, hey, yeah, my fucking taunts are melee range. Like, yes, there are, are there, are there DPS that pull aggro? Yes. Are they idiots? Yes. Are they as bad as Rudy? No. Like, I can remember, like, back when I was playing, like, World, World War, I think it was Wrath of Lich King. Right, we were raiding, 
the Trial of the Crusader 25, I think I was running with a, with a pickup group, and there was a assassination rogue, I think it was, there was an assassination rogue who would always, always, always pull aggro on the twin germonger worms, which, was, which is this boss where you have two big bosses that come up and you have to tank them and keep them separate, I think, and you split the DPS up to take one down and I think they have to die at roughly the same amount, roughly the same time, right? Is a th I think if I'm remembering correct, because remember, Wrath of Lich King was, like, literally a decade ago. Um, God, it's a fucking decade ago. Jesus Christ. Um, and we had this rogue that would continually pull aggro, but also he was doing so much damage that the worm he was on was dying too fast, which would lead to us fucking up. Um, but at the same time, though, there was enough... Basically stuff that's going like, hey, yeah, no, idiot, like, you're fucking up, that he realized his mistake and he would kind of, like, ease off or he'd be like, okay, so what am I doing wrong, right? He, like, like and that is the absolute worst example of a DPS pulling aggro that I can think of. That's the worst one, right? Even that guy is like, why do I keep dying? Because you're doing so much aggro that you are pulling the boss and getting one hit because you're wearing leather, idiot. But he's like, but if I die, my numbers go down. Then don't die. You know, like, all DPS that pull aggro, all they care about is having their fucking name on the top of the damage chart. If they're dead, they can't do that. So as a result, when they die from pulling aggro, they realize, oh, wait, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Oh, no. I mean, especially if it's something that's like, no, the boss turned and hit you. That's not the healer's fault. That's your fault. Like, most of them are self-aware enough to realize something's going wrong, even if they don't know how to fix it. At that point, it's just a matter of like, hey, chief, hold up. But he was actively fighting back and saying, like, well, you don't want me to use my fucking most powerful spell? <laughs> no one thinks like that. Like, so you have this group of and, and, and just, and he's just so self-righteous. I hate him so much. And, and I, I, I understand, like, there's probably people there, out, out there that fucking like these characters. I just don't, because, well, I mean, of all the reasons I just explained, but also the fact that it very much feels like, hey, viewer who's never played an MMO in their life, here's what it's like to start out playing MMOs. When it's not like that, because when you get into your first dungeon, first off, the final boss is not going to be a single fucking trash mob. That's not going to be a boss. That's not going to be an encounter. Second of all, there's a lot of terms that were used incorrectly. Um, their party layout is fucking whack. They got one DPS. The fuck? Like, I imagine there's probably some game out there that does do a one DPS and some... and But, like, I... I swear to god, there is not a single goddamn thing out there that has fucking, like, one tank, two healers, fucking... Sorry, no. One tank, three supports, because a bard is a support, as far as they've shown it in the game. It, sorry, in the game, in the in the anime. In the anime, like, if this was Final Fantasy XIV, yeah, bard is a DPS. Whatever. Right? But here, it's very clearly a support class. Like, it doesn't seem to have any real damage of its own other than her stabbing with that big pony spear. Um, there's not a single one that's like one tank, three supports, and one DPS. That's, that's dumb. That's really dumb. Um, just, pfft. like, yeah, so they're, they're, they're like, and also the, the whole idea is like, I, I need to know every ability you have and why you like to use them. And all this is like, no, that's not how MMOs work. MMOs work by saying, by you doing the math or looking up a guide if you're lazy and seeing like, okay, I am this class in this spec. What is the rotation I need to do? Okay, so for Rudy's case, like just based on the things I know, okay, start off by using Lightning Prism on the most dangerous enemy that we don't need to kill right away. Frigid, okay, okay, now what? All right, uh, that arcane, like, fuck, some sort of arcane blast or whatever the fuck. Okay, some arcane blast, do that, like, three times until something procs. All right, now that I've got this ice proc, now 
Frigid Wind. Now I've done Frigid Wind, now I have a Fire proc. Lava Orb. You know, that, that's, that, and then repeat, basically, like, and using cooldowns and stuff as, as needed. Like, that's how an actual fucking MMO works. It's not like, oh, I use this because it's, it suits my fucking style. It's like, nah, chief, you're doing what puts you on the top of the fucking DPS. Like, fucking, you didn't fucking play something like Destiny. You think I like playing fucking Well of Benevolence? No, fuck Well of Benevolence. Chaos Reach every day. But when you're playing fucking something that requires a heal- a dedicated healing class, you better believe I'm strapping on my fucking Lumina, and I'm fucking going on and handing out overshields and wells of benevolence. Fucking, like, you know? Like, do I want to fucking play that? No. Do I have to sometimes if there's no other warlock willing to make the sacrifice? Yes, I have to. Otherwise, the fucking everyone dies and the group doesn't progress. Like, like it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, this show, sometimes it's got a really, really good idea of how MMOs work. Like, whenever we're with fucking Shiro, it's like, oh, yeah, no, it's, it's this and this and this and all this. Yeah, no, this is fine. Yeah. Like, and it's, it's all like really like on par. And it's like, yeah, no, this is, this is how it works. This is how it go. But the second we switch over to these shit kids, it's like it got handed over to someone who has never fucking touched an MMO in their life. And if it's intended to be for people who have never played an MMO and it's to kind of give them a general idea of, like, stuff that Shiro talks about later, it's doing a piss-poor fucking job and lump lumping us with really bad characters to fucking boot. And I get, and I know, like, a lot of you down are like, oh, Nas, you're so negative all the time, but if you want to see me at my most negative, this is the one. Every other time, I've been like, okay, yeah, no, this ep this is episode is good. Like, here's, like, a couple problems I have here. But overall, it's good because nothing is perfect. But this was a fucking shit show, dude. Fuck. Like, unlikable characters. Butchery of the fucking, like, fucking uh, topic. Just really bad CG. <sighs> this is bad. This is just a bad episode, dog. Fuck. And I get people are gonna be upset because every time I fucking have a negative negative opinion on something, people get upset. But if I have a negative opinion, I'm gonna say I've, I've got a negative opinion because this is bad. Shit ain't gonna improve if you don't call it out. Fuck. Oh, uh, but yeah. I mean, I'm hoping that like this is just kind of like a bump in the road because all in all, this series is really good. Except for these kids. I hate them. I mean, and I do kind of want to see what's up with the Sahagin and the, and the goblins, but it better have something to do with Natsuku, the other Crescent Moon boys, and Shiro and Akatsuki. Because if the Shitter Squad is the one that solves the problem, then by God, consider me unenthused. Oh, hey, 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 I'm sorry I signed on for a fucking adventure with fucking, like, with fucking Shiro Akatsuki and Natsuki, not with the Shitter Squad. Oh, jeez, alright, but yeah, that's all I have to say, fucking, I'm sorry it's negative, but it's a bad episode. Like, I don't know what the fuck you want me to do, like, oh, it was really pretty, because even that's not the fucking case. Most of it happened in a goddamn cave, and the rest of it was fucking CG. Um... Let me know what you thought of this. If you agree with me, you disagree with me, or whatever. You want to bring up something I left out, because that's possible. Let me know down there in the comments. As always, everybody, I am Nozovix. Remember to like, comment, bear it, subscribe, share on social media, tell your friends. And if you want, you can always support me on Patreon, which is linked down there in the description and on the end card on some of my other videos. Um, if you do become a patron, you get access to a special patrons-only Discord channel where you can recommend things to be Let's Played, live-streamed, or Let's Watched. And... Uh, also, with our patrons on the movie night that we do once a month, usually at the end of the second week of any given month. So, not this Saturday, but next Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we hang out in the Discord voice chat. We go to our sync tube and we watch some anime, watch a movie. Maybe we'll play some video games. Like, I, I do kind of want to do that. I mean, I don't know. I mean, Halo just came out. Yeah, it's a fun game. I've got Smash, and I'm kind of bad at Smash, though. I don't know. Depends on what people want to do. I don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah.
It also helps me eat food. And honestly, it's recently, it's probably the, the main thing that's keeping me in groceries right now. Because, oh boy, December is looking to be rough. Because the end of November was big rough. Uh, yeah. I know everybody. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. But, most importantly of all, become a trash mammal today. And I will see you a round of you.